and next we'll see about the fuse and active components and next we'll see what is fuse everybody is having a knowledge about this fuse where we can uh, see this in everybody's home will have a main power box that will have a fuse carrier in that will tie one small string in between the two points and that is called the fuse voltage comes into your residence and that fuse will break it burns itself and protect your device that's why we are using fuse the fuse carrier is having the fuse carries the fuse it allows up to 230 volt if it exceeds 230 volt the fuse burns itself and protect your devices any home appliances or any devices any electrical electronic devices contains this fuse in it because of this all the devices are protected and nowadays we are using mcb the main circuit breaker this is also one kind of a circuit breaker and we are using mcb in your home it's like a tripper switch if any short circuit happens the switch entirely cut off the power supply so you can all these things and if you trip it on you can get the input power supply right so that is called main circuit breaker main circuit breaker is nothing but the reused fuse fuse can't be reused but mcb can be reused that is the difference so both are the family of fuse so the part of the passive components next we'll see the active active component so in this active component we'll see what is diode the diode has a symbol like this a triangle and a small line in front of this can be mentioned as D. This is the identification. So it has two ends. One is positive end and one is negative end. This positive end we call as anode and this negative edge we call as cathode. Anode and cathode. So this diode works in only one direction that is from anode to cathode. It will never work in the reverse direction. So this works only in anode to cathode direction. If the supply is reversed, it will not work. The electron will not flow in the opposite direction. The electron will flow only in one direction. That's why it will work from anode to cathode. If the supply flows from anode to cathode, the diode works. And similarly, light emitting diode so the same symbol the same symbol right it emits the light so this is the symbol of LED right it's also having anode and cathode works in only one direction in reverse direction the LED will not glow if you connect the battery here the LED will glow in the diode family we can see a Zener diode. ZD is a indication for identification we used to have this. And Zener diode, one small triangle, anode and cathode. This Zener diode acts as a voltage regulator. So voltage 
regulator. So that it acts as a stabilizer. Wherever we require 3.5 volt or 2.1 volt only the 2.1 volt as its output. Even though we give a 5 volt input. It gives only 0.1 volt as its output. That's what the use of Xenon type. And it works in both the direction. Either in positive direction, forward direction or in the reverse direction after the breakdown. Right? So this main application of Xena diode is voltage regulator. But the diode and LED, it acts as a switch to trigger any new circuit. So once it passes the voltage, the entire circuit will work. Even the diode can act as a converter. You can call it as a rectifier. In all inverters and the, uh, UPS systems, the voltage can change its energy one form to another form AC to DC so in those areas will make use of this diode one form of energy can be transferred converted to another form with the help of diode so AC to DC signal and for that purpose we are using the diode and what is the use of diode in the mobile phones? So wherever it requires, not all the ICs and not all the components uh, make use of the entire battery supply. Wherever it requires 2.1, we have to provide it. Wherever it requires 3.5 voltage or 2.5 voltage, we have to supply the 2.5 and 3.5. Five. So, in those places, we require diodes and xenon diodes. So, diode will convert it and do its operation. And xenon diode, after conversion, it gives the regulated voltage, regulated output to the part of the mobile phone. For example, the switch range value in voltage is 1.5 to 2.5 once you press it once you try to switch on the mobile the voltage between the two points will be measured in the range of 1.5 voltage to 2.5 voltage so and next the transistor in the diodes the circuit diodes so what is the use of it it acts as a switch it acts as an amplifier voltage gain so some of the examples application where we are using the transistor so it's simple is like this the base emitter collector three terminals are there either you can connect in this way or in this way between base and emitter or between base and collector. So instead of diode, if you are using transistor, it can in positive direction or in the negative direction, forward bias or in the reverse bias direction. So that's why we will make use of transistor in most of the circuits. So it can access a switch, can access the amplifier, voltage gain. These applications are required in any kind of electronic gadgets so once you switch on it has to operate without the help of uh, resistor capacitor and inductor transformer or fuse how the entire device can't work similarly this transistor if it is not present in the circuit then the entire circuit is waste right without the help of transistor nothing will happen it's of two types NPN, PNP. So, wherever required, we can make use of the different types of transistors. This transistor 
can be modeled by this connector A. So if one diode connects in this direction, the another diode connects in this direction. Why? Base to emitter and base to collector. So this is the form of transistor in the earlier stage. And then we will finally come to the transistor like diode is a unidirectional device, transistor is a bidirectional device. Unidirection means one direction it will work, and bidirection means two directions it will work. So that is the difference between diode and transistor. So the family of transistor is MOSFET will have maximum will make use of this uh, MOSFET in all the power supplies. Why? Because it switching operation is more faster than the normal transistor. For example, you are using an inverter in your home or in your office will make use of the inverters. So where you never feel the power supply change from EV supply to the inverter. You have seen only one small uh, beep sound. There is no power off, no tube lights, no fan, no systems, nothing will switch off more. Right. So for that reason, we are using MOSFETs in place of transistor. There is no delay. There is a very less delay when you are going with the MOSFETs. So that's the main concept of using MOSFET. Thank you. Next, we'll see about the tools and equipments.